Awo. Awo, shalom. Once again, this is your brethren, Wendem Yadin, or to others, Aras Yadinos Tesari. You may have noticed in the last video, and even in this present video, we have some Burhana Salasi or Bar, Mu Bar Mali music playing. Now, uh, a sister and one of our co-partners and um, one of our ministry partners has let us know that on uh, today's four, for to this present day, I think this is the, the, the fifth or so. Um, let's, just, let's just check that. This should be the the fifth or so for the fifth of um of December 2011. That Forbes magazine, you know the big time business magazine out there, that they have an article um stating or asking the question: Is Bob Marley's ears destroying his legacy? This is very interesting. Is Bob Marley's children? Some say that it's greed, so forth and so on. But what's happening is that they're trying to get out ahead of a certain story, and 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 we and we're pointing out Babylon in this regard and in this um, respect. And it's probably interesting that the that the, the Dean Frazier Pimpers Paradise is playing in the background. Let's just lift this up for a moment. Now you see when we do this, when we do this, when we play this on the YouTube's. It might not, it, it all depends, it all depends. It, it might say that we're using music, that somebody has a copyright hold or so forth and so on. We've done this in some of the videos and had to actually um, re-edit the video because the video would not play on the, on the YouTubes in certain countries. And we've noticed this continually over and over. Now, one of the main places that it doesn't um, play in and it's, um, it's blocked from playing, is Germany, right? And then we did a little bit of study and a little bit of research, and we got to find out about the whole music group and who owns the rights to what, so forth and so on, and the story about how they have taken the rights for Bob Marley's music predominantly away from his family and have given it to some of the corporations and really have controlled the Marley um, Bob Marley's music and deprive the the family reader and and the children and the sons from their full share. Now, Forbes magazine is putting forth an article, and we have still yet to see the article, so we're not pre prejudging or prejudicing the article. But it's very interesting because we were speaking with some of our um, brothers and sisters that um, that what they're seeking to do is to colonize. What they're seeking to do is to colonize Bob Marley's music. There's the colonization of Bob Marley's music. And what we might call this particular video is the, um, is the part one or the introduction to, quote, the colonization of Bob Marley's music. In other words, is Bob Marley's music, among other stolen legacy items, of we, the once lost but now found Beta Israel, or the black sheep of the family, have they colonized the same thing that they have done to jazz, the same thing they have done to so many blues, rock and roll, so forth, so many inventions have been invented by black people, yet the number of black people that profit or get their proper rights from that is very low. The corporations have taken this over. And the Bible teaches us that they frame mischief. The Bible says they frame mischief by a law. So look out for that article. And we're not going to speak too much on that article until we go and review it. But what we want to get out there, get ahead of the story ourselves, is put out there the colonization of Bob Marley's music and reggae and reggae and the whole culture. And this is going to help us segue to something that we recorded a little bit earlier, but um, did not post as of yet. And it's on the, the whole so-called um, uh, evangelical, the evil angels or the evangelical so-called Christian music industry and the Christ the far eye or the Christ the Farianism conspiracy and Messian Dreads expose his two books, his two volumes that expose it, 
and document exactly what's going on regarding that. And, th and these two things are very much intimately connected. So we have to utilize the ability to communicate and get our word across and to dialogue and discuss on, on, on the issue. You understand? Because what we have to do is expose these things. You understand? We have to expose these things. So my brothers and sisters, stay tuned for more on that particular subject matter, the colonization of Bob Marley's music, but by extension, by extension, reggae music and extending it even a little bit further, the Rastafari culture, you understand, with this um, covert evil and evangelical, evil angelical activity by the so-called Christian right and the so-called Christian m music industry, you know what I'm saying, which is on another level, they are colonizing and attempting to colonize our music and our culture, you know what I'm saying? So to be forewarned, my brothers and sisters, is to be forearmed. So once again, Shalom Rastafari and more to come on that particular issue and, issue and matter. So stay tuned. This is your brother, your brother in Wendem Yadin or Ras Yadinos Teferi. Shalom Ras Teferi. <laughs>